40 Watch Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. An alert and spirited dog, the West Terrier, affectionately known as the Westie, is generally of medium size, averaging 15 to 15 and a half inches in height, with females slightly smaller than males. They typically weigh around 20 pounds, but their weight should correspond to their height and bone density. Number 2. The Welsh Terrier typically has a tan on its head, legs, and underbelly, along with a black or sometimes grizzly saddle on its back. Female Welsh Terriers may be uniformly darker tan all over. They have a rectangular body shape and a brick-like face, which is defined by their whiskers and beard. Number 3. Welshies sport a hard and wiry coat comprising of two layers, a soft undercoat for insulation, and a wiry top coat that shields them from dirt, rain, and wind. They also have dense and wiry fur on the muzzle, legs, and quarters. Number 4. Welshies have only one approved color combination black and tan. The tan color is usually a deep reddish hue, but lighter tans are also allowed as per the breed standard. But what's more interesting is that Welshy puppies are born almost completely black. Number 5. Their tail was once commonly dogged until it was prohibited in the United Kingdom in 2006. This practice was employed to attain the preferred square appearance, aligning the dog's height with its length. Number 6. It's interesting to note that pedigreed Welsh Terriers often have a facial structure that appears more oval-shaped, and these pedigrees tend to have finer bone structures giving them a more distinctive appearance. Number 7. The Welshie bears a striking resemblance to the Airedale Terrier, both in terms of physical appearance and personality, so it's very easy to confuse one with the other. These dogs are nearly identical to Airedales in all aspects except for their size, as well as Terriers are smaller in stature compared to their larger Airedale counterparts. Number 8. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Welsh Terriers are ranked 53rd out of 79 dog breed groups in terms of working obedience intelligence, showing that they possess average intelligence in this aspect. Typically, they grasp new commands after 25 to 40 repetitions and demonstrate obedience by following the first command 50% of the time or better. Number 9. With their strong terrier lineage, Welsh Terriers can display stubbornness and independence on occasion. There are times when they may outright ignore commands if they're not in the mood to comply. Number 10. This long-legged terrier breed tends to dig extensively rather than burrow into holes like shorter-legged terriers. Training them to stop digging is challenging, so providing a designated area for digging is a better approach. Number 11. These dogs also have a great fondness for swimming, and they eagerly take to water whenever the opportunity arises. Whether it's a lake, river, or a refreshing dip in the pool, they find immense joy in splashing around and cooling off. Number 12. Welsh Terriers, like numerous other terrier breeds, possess a robust and independent temperament marked by courage and occasional impulsiveness. This trait may lead them to engage in conflicts with adversaries much larger than themselves, potentially resulting in unfavorable outcomes. Number 13. These dogs are also notorious for their penchant for barking. They use barking to communicate a wide range of situations, whether it's alerting you to a person approaching, a squirrel in a tree, or the time for their evening walk at 6 p.m. Number 14. Welshies are recognized for their joyful disposition, positive outlook, and intelligence, making them an excellent choice for a family pet. While they tend to get along better with other dogs compared to some other terriers, they won't hesitate to stand their ground if challenged. Number 15. These terriers also have an intense prey drive owing to their hunting heritage, and for them, any small moving animal is fair game. They are relentless in their pursuit, chasing after creatures like badgers, foxes, and vermin without regard for the environment or the time it takes to do so, which is why keeping them on a leash when outside is essential. Number 16. Welsh terriers are typically a healthy breed with an average life expectancy ranging from 12 to 15 years. With proper love and care, many of them can enjoy a long and healthier life, surpassing their expected years. Number 17. Similar to any other dog breed, Welshies can be susceptible to certain health issues. Common health concerns for the breed include allergies, epilepsy, glaucoma, hypothyroidism, cataracts, and cancer. Number 18. Welshies also have a higher susceptibility to genetic ailment known as primary lens luxation. This condition results in the displacement of the eye's lens, typically manifesting in middle age and eventually leading to blindness. It occurs due to the deterioration of the fibers responsible for lens support. Number 19. These terriers excel in activities like earth dog and barn hunt, where their hunting instincts are put to good use. They prove to be an excellent choice for these dog sports, and their skills also extend to coursing ability tests. 
Number 20. As highly active terriers, well she's, need ample mental and physical stimulation to deter bad habits like furniture chewing, emphasizing the importance of regular exercise and mental engagement. So don't think that you can cheat out on exercise when it comes to this breed. Number 21. Known for their intelligence and hardworking spirit, this breed excels in versatility, showcasing their abilities in various other dog sports such as agility, fly ball, tracking, and obedience competitions. They've also been involved in search and rescue operations and therapy work. Number 22. The Welsh Terrier is considered a vulnerable native breed in the UK, which is not widely recognized. In 2015, only about 380 dogs were registered with the Kennel Club. Today, the Welsh Terrier is listed among breeds at risk of decline by the UK Kennel Club, with as few as 300 or so pups registered annually, highlighting the breed's endangered status. Number 23. While the complete history of the West Terrier is not entirely clear, evidence from ancient paintings and prints suggests that this breed has a long and possibly ancient lineage, perhaps even among the first terriers. Number 24. Originally referred to as the Black and Tan Wirehaired Terrier or the Old English Terrier, it is believed that these dogs began to evolve into the breed we recognize today during the 1700s. Number 25. While the breed's distinctive characteristics were still developing in the 1700s, there is historical documentation of a Welsh Terrier as far back as 1450. In a poem from that era, a Welsh poet mentioned a good black and red bitch to choke the brown polecat, which provides an early reference to the breed. Number 26. During the 18th century, the breed gained popularity in the rugged mountainous areas of Wales among farmers and hunters who pursued foxes, otters, rodents, and badgers. The breed's courage, tenacity, and robust nature made it well suited for the challenging task of digging out aggressive badgers from their dens. Number 27. This scruffy little dog was often shown and grouped among Old English Terriers, a category that included various terrier breeds. Interestingly, it wasn't until 1885 that the Kennel Club of England officially acknowledged this charming breed as the Welsh Terrier. Number 28. Welsh Terriers made their way to America in 1885, and by 1888, they received official recognition as a distinct breed by the American Kennel Club. The Welsh Terrier Club was then founded in 1990, setting the stage for their popularity to steadily rise from that point forward. Number 29. The Welsh Terrier finds itself on the less popular end of the spectrum, ranking 113th out of 199 breeds in terms of popularity in America, according to the AKC's list of most popular dog breeds in 2022. Despite this, they have cultivated a dedicated fan base of devoted followers. Number 30. Well, shes are relatively uncommon in America, which can drive up their prices. Typically, you can expect to pay between $950 and $3,000 for a West Terrier puppy, with the average price being around $1,600. Puppies with superior bloodlines and command prices exceeding $3,000. Number 31. The Welsh Terrier became the 45th breed to achieve full recognition by the AKC and has been a consistent presence in confirmation shows since then. Despite its long-standing presence and participation, a Welsh Terrier has yet to receive the prestigious Best in Show award at the AKC National Championship presented by Royal Cannon. Number 32. In 2019, the Welsh Terrier Grand Champion Brightlock Money Talks or Dazzle achieved a remarkable success, winning Best in Show at the Montgomery County Kennel Club and securing victories at the West Area Club of America National Specialty and the AKC National Championship. By year-end, Dazzle had 160 Group First wins and 37 Best in Show wins, making him America's number one terrier and number four dog among all breeds. Number 33. Another notable Welsh Terrier, champion Flornil Rare Bit of Twin Ponds, made history by becoming the only Welsh Terrier to win Best in Show at the Westminster Kennel Club in 1944, triumphing over more than 2,510 dogs. Rare Bit achieved significant success, ranking among the top winning dogs of all breeds for at least two years with 22 US Best in Show titles along with 74 Best of Breed and 47 Group 1 wins. Number 34. During John F. Kennedy's presidency, the family had a West Terrier named Charlie. Jacqueline Kennedy gave Charlie to JFK as a gift during the presidential campaign, and he formed a close bond with the president. Mrs. Kennedy affectionately referred to Charlie as Jack's dog. Charlie often accompanied the president for swims and evening walks, with discreet Secret Service protection. Number 35. Welsh Terriers also hold a special place in the hearts of the nobility, evidenced by Edward VII, the British monarch, who briefly reigned in 1936 before his abdication. During this time, he cherished a Welsh Terrier named Gwen. 
Number 36, in P.G. Wodehouse's novel, Money for Nothing, the English writer introduces John Carroll, a character who is the proud owner of a West Terrier named Emily. Number 37, the British Prime Minister Clement Attlee, who followed Winston Churchill and held office from 1945 to 1951, had a beloved West Terrier named Tang. As a member of the nobility, Attlee even incorporated this cherished dog into his family coat of arms. Number 38, in the 2004 animated movie Balto Three Wings of Change, there's a lively West Terrier named Mel, who resides at the post office. Mel gets worried when the male dogs are late. Whenever there's tension or anxiety, Mel tends to overreact and express concern about potential problems. Number 39, did you know that it was David Paymer, an Oscar-nominated actor, who voiced an erratic West Terrier character named Mel in the animated film Balto 3, Winds of Change? Well, if you didn't, now you know it. Number 40, West Terrier owners know the stink eye well. When your Westie is displeased or doesn't get their way, they give you the signature look. This phrase is so well known that there is an annual fundraiser in Greenville, South Carolina called the Stink Eye Walk and Social, where West Terrier enthusiasts gather for three days. Alright guys, now which of these Westie facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.